Hey there. I wanted to record a, a kind of different video today. Um, this video is going to go live on the 20th of January uh, because that is my last day at my current job uh, where I've worked there for eight years, <laughs> which is a long ass time. Um, and I handed in uh, my notice a couple couple of months back um, because my I thought my notice period was three months and that's what I agreed to a while ago um, back when I was under a different company because uh, we got two peed over uh, but they seem to have forgotten that which is quite hilarious uh, <laughs> so my actual notice period was two months instead um, which is interesting um, cause I always thought it was going to be, uh, three months and I guess maybe the two months is the maximum. I'm not quite sure. Um, cause I'm pretty sure the nurse period is supposed to be like, yeah, like a normal one is like, yeah, if you're a long employee for four months, four months, four weeks, and then, yeah, a week for every year you've been there or something like that. I don't know. I don't really get to look into it too much because um, I thought it was kind of funny. That I was like, "Oh, okay, my notice period is a lot shorter than I thought it was." Cool, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Um, so, we, we, if you want to know, I work in oh, IT support. Um, there's basically four of us plus my manager. So, yeah, there's, there's this team of uh, five in support. Um, Earlier this year, they basically went, here's a pay rise. Guess what it was? 2%. 2%. Bearing in mind that for, you know, since 2019, I've been on the same pay. And they're like, here you go. Here's 2%. Fuck right off with that. That's, that's the first That's the first one. Like, mm -mm, hello. What the fuck is this bullshit? You what, mate? Fuck off. Fuck off with your 2%. Um, it was so bad that basically um, my boss encouraged both me. Uh, so the two employ two employees that were basically been there a while that could get a pay rise because the other people there were, yeah, hadn't been there that long. Um, actually, I think it was only one, might have been one person because I think we were still in front of employee for the fifth person. Um, so... Yeah, with the two that could go, hey, hang on a minute, we, we deserve more. And they went, no. Uh, and my boss basically went, I want to take my name off this document. That, you know, here's your pay rise, blah, 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 blah. Because he's like, I don't agree with this. You can fuck off. So that's the first thing. Like, the thing is, I liked my boss. My boss was great. Problem was, the people above him. So it was like a deputy and her head of the department. Head of the department was all right. Deputy was a prick. They're not right now. He's a complete and utter prick. <laughs> like, there's no, no two ways about it. it. It's someone who works from home all the time, mm -hmm, and yet expects people to be in the office all the time. You what, mate? So they they basically don't live near where the main offices are, but I'm also just like, yeah, you know, we want fuck. So it's like, oh, do can we have like, um, yeah, you know, some time to work from home? No. Basically, under the table, my boss was like, you can have a couple of days, and then eventually at some point we'll we'll maybe up it to three days working from home. Never really happened, but uh, yeah, I don't really care at this point. I don't care. And yeah, you know, I had a couple of days normally where I can work from home. And the other telling thing is my mum's had some health problems a, f a few times where I've like gone, okay, can I work from home for the next you know, month or two? And they're like, that's fine. The last time my boss was like, you know, I'll check with HR to see what our options are. And this is when the new de the deputy was now the head of the department. So I was like, oh, this is kind of telling. This is very, very telling that he's not Where's a prick? I did get it. Because ultimately, they couldn't afford to lose me. Um, they couldn't afford to me to just go on compassionate leave and not work. Because our department is severely understaffed. Like, even with, 
you know, the four members of the team is severely understaffed. You know, the, the company's got like 600 employees or so. And you have like a support team of five. Including the manager is severely understaffed. There's, there's, there's no room for like any training or anything, any of that kind of shit. Um, that's it. So there was a, a recent plan put through, which was basically, so there's five of us. It would get rid of my boss. Um, and so the two locations we work in, I work in one of them. And then the three other people uh, work in the other one. So uh, because one of them did work in the same location as me, but then they moved up to Bristol. Yeah, well, that's Bristol. I, I normally work in Ferrum. I don't really give a shit <laughs> telling about the company. But so the three Bristol people, they were going to shit can two other jobs. Two of the jobs there shit canned because they wanted to have two people in Ferrum and one in Bristol, and one could be anywhere. So it meant three people would be made redundant. Uh, I think it was, when was this? November time? Early November? So the idea was that people would be very redundant. Essentially, just, well, the, the plan was to go in effect on the 1st of January. Um... So, I mean, two people, three people would be redundant over Christmas. Wow, that's a dick move. That's a complete dick move to implement that kind of plan over Christmas. So, um, yeah, so that was a terrible fucking plan. So the idea was that it was going to be two first-line people, one in Bristol, one in Ferrum, one second-line person, which would technically be me, um, and then one application support person who would also take support calls. I remember discussing that with my brother, uh, who work, basically works in development, and he laughed at me. He laughed at me for that. And that wasn't even like, I didn't even say like the pay or anything. He just laughed. I was like, okay, so that's clearly a fucking dumb idea. This <laughs> is fucking dumb. Um, yeah, yeah, very dumb. Um, yeah, that, that that was the dumbest thing. So immediately after that meeting, um, one one guy handed his notes because he basically already had a already had a job lined up and he was already planning on doing it anyway. So that was great. He was like, "Cool, I'm already out of here. Fuck off." Um, uh, another person handed in the notes so that they were left uh, basically on Boxing Day. And uh, I uh, ended my notice um, so around the same time, but obviously I've, I've been there a lot longer, so uh, my notice a lot longer, uh, annoyingly. Mm -hmm. um, basically, there was negotiation um, for certain things, and the basic because the problem was like, oh, his redundancy, if yeah, you know. and I was like, oh, cool, okay, that sounds cool. This redundancy is quite nice. It's like two months worth of pay. So I could take this redundancy, have like a month off to do whatever the fuck I wanted, and then start looking for stuff. Like, you know, or start looking for stuff in the first month. Do that. They're like, nah. So it was like in the second, they had like rounds of meetings. In the second one, they were like, oh, okay. So I basically went, no, I want, a, I want a redundancy pay. Give me a redundancy pay. I don't want to be here. Yeah, in the nice possible time, I didn't really say it, but I was like, I just don't want to be here. I want to get fuck out because you're getting rid of like my manager, the kind of only person I'd really, I was really like, is there a reason I'm really here? Otherwise, I don't really like anyone else. <laughs> yeah, anyone else in the senior management. So I was like, nah, I'm good. I was never done to see. So like, okay, okay, that's fine. And then they were like, oh, we'll arrange a third meeting so we can discuss as well. I was like, oh, okay, discuss your exit, I think it was the exact term. Discuss your exit. Which sounds to me like, that, okay, that redundancy pay is fine. I could have that redundancy pay. Uh, cuts to the next time where I don't get a third meeting. They just go, 
no, you don't get redundancy pay. No. I was like, what? But I want redundancy pay. He's like, oh, but you would have a job, so under law, we don't need to offer you redundancy pay. I was like, what the fuck? No, I said I want a redundancy pay, and you agreed to it. So I was like, mm. first part, I was like, oh, you can go fuck yourselves. Um, so I basically asked them a few questions, sent them an email, didn't really get a response. Next day, I was like, okay, go, go fuck yourself. Here's my nose. You're a bunch of fucking liars. Go fuck yourself. In the nicest possible way, and you can say, I did say they were liars, but I didn't say, like, go fuck yourself, but basically go fuck yourself. That's what the meaning of it was, was me just saying, no, go fuck yourself. Absolutely go fuck yourself. I have no desire to be here. You did not honour what you said. I said I wanted the exit. You said, oh, we'll discuss your exit. Oh, great. Yeah, that means I get fucked out of here. Um, Yeah. It's funny because uh, my boss was basically going to be kicked out regardless. He knew it. He knew, like, so there's basically, there's going to be a person who was head of support and the platform team. And we already fucking knew. I knew this way ahead of any of these plans that set up that it was for one of the platform guys. I was like, well, this is clearly his job because this job clearly is earmarked for him. I can see a, see the requirements that say they're clearly earmarked for him. And I clearly saw him trying to take her. You know, when my manager was like away, I could clearly see him trying to take over like support stuff. I was like, oh, OK, that, that, that's how that is. I see. I see. And I was like, he's a bit of a prick a lot of times. And so I was like, fuck off. Absolutely fuck off. I'm out. Here's his here's redundancy. Go fuck yourself. Uh, so, yeah, for the last eight weeks, I've done a fuck all. I've done, like, the bare minimum, because I don't give a shit. Absolutely do not give a shit. They clearly know I don't give a shit. I said, I called them a bunch of fucking liars. And was like, no, get the fuck out. I'm generally pretty chill person. I don't get angry that often. So to push me is very impressive. It's very fucking impressive. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, yeah, no, I I'm out. Go fuck yourself. So, yeah, the 20th is my last day. Um, I've already had a, got a new job lined up now. Uh, they seem really nice. They seem like pretty cool people, so I'm like, cool. This this sounds quite nice. This no, yeah, it's actually the same another t team of five technically, <laughs> which is which is interesting. So I was like, okay, no, this is good. Um, so this is a different structure, but yeah, it sounds it sounds more interesting, and yeah, I'm I'm really excited to look forward to it. Um, and I think this is much interesting, and yeah. So also part of the like the when we TP'd over. I was basically like a senior, so it was basically, I was kind of more third line uh, support, which was brilliant. I didn't have to take calls. Ah, oh, I could just, it was, it was beautiful. Honestly, it was, it was so nice. I got to just start doing, you know, more, more, more advanced stuff. And then when we two beat over, I started doing a lot more basic stuff and I got bored as shit. I was absolutely bored as fuck. Honestly, I was just like, I said that like during meetings a lot of times. So I was like, I'm bored as fuck. This is boring. I want something way more advanced than this. And they're like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Nothing really happened because we just didn't have the stuff. You know, if someone took annual leave, we just have a fucking backlog of stuff. Because, yeah, we didn't have anyone. We're currently operating on three people. Technically, it's two people and my manager. My manager leaves like, well, when I'm recording this, my manager leaves um, at the end of the week. Uh, and then there'll be two weeks and then I'm out. Um, and you have to kind of, so it was announced today that the, the guy who we clearly knew was earmarked the job for always got the job. Shocking. And it's, it's hilarious because I've, because uh, I got some reference. I got from one from my manager and one from, um, my previous boss, who worked with this other person, and worked with a lot of people, and was like, oh yeah, no, that, that person, 
they clearly like really want to promote that person. They say, oh, okay. How about the actual team? Promote them and then no, no. Get fucked. Get fucked. You don't actually get promoted anyway. You don't get nothing. I was like, okay. Get fucked. Honestly, get fucked uh, is my personal approach. And that's what it's been for the last week. Uh, and as of this day, I'm going to walk, basically, on this day, uh, 20th, I haven't done it yet, but I will, um, I'm going to walk in the office, I'm going to drop off my equipment, so I've got my laptop here, uh, on this desk, uh, some and the dock for it, I'm going to drop off that, I'm going to drop off the keys to the office, I have the keys to the office, um, I'm going to drop off those, and then I'm going to walk out, because I'm going to just be like, bitch, what are you going to do, fire me? And I've got, like, annual leave. So I've got annual leave that they will pay for, pay me for. Um, so they could just dock out of that one one day I have of annual. And I, I think I have, like, one and a half days of annual leave. So they could just dock it out of that. So, like, okay, one one day of, pay of, of pet unpaid work. Oh, well. Fuck them. I don't give a fuck. So, get fucked. <laughs> and I've always also made it kind of the point of just not really handing over as much as I can. And just like, oh, you want me to hand over anything? That's unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> just like, try and hand over as little as possible. Because I'm just like, nah, you can get fucked. Oh, you're, you're not going to be able to... Oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Shucks. Oh, well. That's your problem, isn't it? Because you just got rid of... Well, you got rid of 60% of the team. And I made it 80% of the team. So the one, one, one guy's left is really new. Um, And we've tried to encourage him to get a new job because he's clearly going to be having... He's going to have a shit. At least a few months of utter shit. Because uh, he's going to be somehow the most senior person on that support team. The support team will basically be four people um, and a manager above platform and the sport. He's going to be not having fun at all. <laughs> uh, I think they've employed the application support person. So they're going to have a shit time because they're basically just going to be handling support calls. They're not going to like that. I think they like leave in a few, like a few months, maybe in a week. They just like get in and go. Oh, I don't like this, and they'll be on pr under probation. So they basically like leave within a week. Yeah, the next period will be like a week. So yeah, how's that? It's just an utter shit show. But I wanted to record this video, um, in part so I could have it as a record for myself because I was like. So I don't remember what what it was like at the time where I was like, oh yeah, why was I fit, felt like shit? So I have a record of why I felt utter shit and such apathy towards the company that I'd worked for for eight years. You know, I was willing to stay there. But after this fucking shit show, I enjoyed it. It was nice. It was relaxing. Um, and the, I, I liked... I I like to be in a senior, which I only got really got for like a year and a half. Because uh, previously I did hand in my notice. Uh, was it 2019? Um, and I would have worked at a travel company in 2019. Yeah, no, that was a good decision not to take that notice. Because basically, um, it's funny. But the, they obviously recognized I was kind of important to the team. Um, so they gave me like a please don't leave pay rise. And then I was like, ah, I'm going to leave now. And they're like, oh, okay, we'll give you a bit of uh, like a promotion. So, ah, thank you. I'll be taking that. Like, and sometimes they, they did recognize it. I think it was more just like more senior people are like, oh, no. Oh, shit, that person's going to leave. Oh, he's literally the only person who knows, like, this side of the business. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I basically knew about a piece of, like, legacy software, which only I really knew about. I would hand off to someone if people wanted it, but no one really didn't wanted to know it. So I had a huge bargaining chip in my pocket, which I still do because no one's really asked me about it in any way, which is interesting. 
I, it's always less important as, as of now, but yeah, that's that's interesting. But uh, yeah, this video will go live at uh, 11 p.m. 11 p.m. on uh, Friday the 20th. Uh, after I've left, gone, um, I have my new job. I start a new job on Monday. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it because it's it's going to be like it's it's really interesting because it's it feels like a team that's you know less about oh this is your this is your role this this is, you know it feels to me it feel from what I've learned it feels like there's going to be more to kind of learn I'm not going to be sat in this is what you're doing you're handling these kind of sport things so it's like okay cool that's fine I'll do that but yeah. Uh, for the last, as of this video, last two months, it's been giving low effort. Just like, nap, go fuck yourself. I'm done. So, yeah, I'm first start my new job. Hopefully, it's all right. And uh, yeah, I like said, it's gonna be fun. Gonna be a new journey, completely new job, and a, a new like sector. Um. Yeah, well, I'm still doing sport, but yeah, it's a new. The business is a completely different sector to what what I'm currently doing. So, yeah, be interesting. So, uh, I'm gonna sign off here. Uh, but like I said, uh, I want to record this for my own sake, and in case I ever forgot what the fuck happened, I thought yeah, it'd be good to have a video that captures my current emotions. Should we say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, that's what I thought would be best but anyway I'm going to sign off and uh, yeah hopefully I'll see you guys um, one of my other videos but nice give, give my videos a like like subscribe all those things all that bullshit come on do it come on why not anyway for now I say live long then prosper